Hey, what's up, guys? Petman here, Carolina Varsity, taking a look at another game in the Southwestern Conference. And this time, we got Garinger uh, traveling over to play Butler. Uh, for Garinger, key in this game, they have to find a way to disrupt Butler offensively. I don't think Garinger is, has enough on offense to consistently drive on the Butler defense, who just held Huff to three points, you know, in their last game. So, obviously, they're clicking on all cylinders. Um for Garinger, you know, they, they run more of a spread type of thing. Uh, try to get someone in space to, to make a play. Maybe can isolate someone on the outside that can, you know, win battles one-on-one -on, -one on the outside and get the ball at your quarterback's hands quick. Because uh, it's going to be tough to block the uh, Butler defensive line. They pressured uh, Jackson Gibbs for Huff last week all game long. So, you know, you got to you got to make quick plays if you're Garinger. You know, screens, um uh, rollouts get your quarterback out the pocket stuff like that uh for a butler get up early um you don't want to hang around with garinger and give them hope and then get your main guys out get them out maybe after a quarter or a half and then build depth with your reps because going down the road where butler wants to go obviously competing for the state championship you got to have depth and you know this is a game where you know you can develop that depth work on some things um that you know you've seen in practice try some guys in different positions things of that nature um butler's giving themselves that um opportunity to do that here obviously playing well in the pre-conference only lost to mallard creek so this is a time where you develop that depth and i obviously coach hales and his championship pedigree and his staff are doing a great job and i'm sure that you know they're gonna do that um so i expect the butler win here uh Garinger, you know, work on your young guys and uh, get those guys some experience. Start, you know, work focusing on your JV, getting those guys ready to go and, um, you know, get the most out of what you can, you know, for the rest of the season. Uh, stay healthy. Hopefully, hopefully those guys that got injured against Mallard Creek are coming back for Garinger and, um, you know, embrace the opportunity of playing at one of the best teams in the state. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good ball game. Thanks for watching.